Uh, this is going to be, I'm just going to do a little introduction uh, right here. Um, uh, I've shot the video already, I've been editing it, and it sort of, I just had some general ideas and feelings I wanted to communicate, and it sort of ended up being, uh, I think, a pretty good focal point on encouraging guys, you know, that maybe aren't uh, look, liking the prospects of their near-term retirement that's coming up and they want to make some changes and, and are, are, are considering maybe willing to make some fairly drastic, significant changes and look at doing it here in Thailand, which is, of course, what I did. And, man, that has really worked out well for me. Um, and my and my whole retirement's kind of shaping up. I, I think that, that Fawn has relatively little interest in being in the United States, just more of a down-the-road thing. And, and my interest in, is, is also in having her like down the road as I really sort of get much older and need more help. Uh, and then my son and my, my and Fawn and I as my wife living living together. And that would be awesome like just to spend my like real golden, golden years doing that. But before then, I'm having too much fun. And you know, this is a friend of mine back in the States and, and, and she really encouraged me and she kept saying, Rob, you can do it, you can do it. And, and, and she was very encouraging. And, and, and that's what I want to say to guys that are thinking about a different retirement and a Thai retirement possibly, that, you know, you can do it. Um, I resisted. I resisted that advice um, four years ago or whatever the heck it was uh, when this was first sort of gelling. And, you know, I was like, oh, I'm too old and no one's going to want to date me and... It, 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 you know, it's, 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 you know, no one's going to, you know, whatever, you know, whatever, you know, all this stuff. Right. And, and, and that's just not true. That's just not true. Um, I, I think I'm living a much younger life here. More, uh, I mean, back home, most of my friends haven't retired yet, you know, and, and, and dang it, a lot of my friends are, they're dying. Um, I, I've got friends dying or and 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 other friends having just way worse health problems than I'm having you know I, I'm, I'm I can do rehab I can ride my badass motorcycle to the gym and do my rehab a lot of guys aren't that lucky you know um and then a lot of my friends haven't retired and are are, are like never retiring a lot of guys you know really just they just want to work until they drop and that's totally cool you know I, that's just not me you know I I maybe would have done that but I don't know, I kind of like this. Now that I'm retired, I man, I ain't going back. I wouldn't if I could. You know, I'm surprised to hear myself say that. But I've, I've fallen in step with this, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy doing this. But I want to encourage guys, though. I mean, you can come here. You can basically live a younger, more active, vibrant life. You certainly, you know, the dating is fun for a little while. Now, for me, I really was just used it as a way to find a partner. Uh, I'm really not a... A I would make a terrible Jiao Chu, a player. I'd make a terrible player. Uh, I like my nap. I like being in bed early. <laughs> Fawn was saying, can we go dancing tonight? And I'm like, I don't know. Uh, we're meeting a friend and a, and a girlfriend, a date of his in Colat. We're renting a couple of hotel rooms. And uh, we're going to go out on the town. The beer festival is in town. And Fawn scanned the video of Mayfair Park and my favorite beer vendor, the guys that make that orange Belgian or whatever it is there. That's there. I'm, I'm hundred. I can only thing I know for a fact I'm doing is going and getting some of that orange Belgian. Um, but uh, my friend wants to take his date to a high class restaurant and kind of see how she acts. And so um, that's obviously going to be uh, eight bistro bat bistro. And uh, Fawn has an awesome plan to wear some more modern clothes and kind of sidle up with his date and kind of chuck her out for him. And um, so we're going to do that. So we're gonna help. Uh, we're gonna help my friend whose name is not Kevin, and uh, <laughs> that's the running joke. We put him in the videos. We just call him. Uh, it's definitely not Kevin. And I was gonna do some swimming today, but this this Chinese weather storm, cold storm thing, uh, came in, to, which is fine. See the flannel, digging the flannel. So, you no, know, actually it'll be great because I want to wear some nice clothes and walk around. It'd be nice to not be warm doing that. So uh, I may bring a jacket. This is my life. Look at this, you know, versus if I'm back home, it's, you know, I'm in my apartment, you know, my son works, you know, and I, I mean, and we have a great schedule together and we end up seeing each other and hanging for several hours a day. So it's awesome. But, you know, he works. So there's limits on what we can do together. Can't do too many trips and things like that. And then uh, and get most of my friends. So it, 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 it kind of works better for me here. Plus, the, the, this weather is therapeutic. 
if you've got arthritis issues and stuff, I've got really, 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 like the, my doctor's like, you have the arthritis of an 80 year old. So, I mean, I'm, and I'm just turning 60. So, I mean, if you've got arthritis, this is the place to be. Something about the hot, dry heat is good for arthritis. I don't understand what that is, but it's real. Actually, the video's gonna follow this. Uh, check it out. If there's any points that are missing, I'll cut back in like this. In general, Thailand does seem to kind of stand out as there's a reason why. I think it. I think it's the most popular destination for foreign residents, for people to come here and, and retire. It's just some of the cultural aspects are a little wacky, but that's you know what the channel kind of basically focuses on to try to help people. And um, and also one last thing, I, 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 uh, I'll, there'll be a thing in, in the in the video there, but uh, consider uh, 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 buying a copy of my book. It does support my son, and uh, who's an adult with autism, who's an awesome kid. I'm super proud of what he does. He, despite all his his challenges and stuff, he works every day and. Yeah, he, he just really, really does well with it. And the book does have a lot of this concentrated info. Probably you, you'd have to watch, I don't know, 40 videos or something to get the, the It's a pretty deep dive in the book. And it's an easy read. It's, it's written in the way I talk here. I wrote the book the same way. Anyways, that's it. Uh, thank you. I just sort of have a general idea of kind of what I want to talk about, which is um, encourage, I guess encouraging guys to... Uh, obviously if they're, if you're already happy, that's great. More power to you, bro. Have at it. Enjoy, you know. Uh, but a lot of guys, I think, just for a variety of reasons that I, calling out is just going to be counterproductive, but, um, a lot, I think it's pretty common that a lot of guys find themselves as they get near retirement, that things are not shaping up the way that they had, uh, planned or in a way that they think is maybe fair and they're looking to make some changes but what happens for most guys i think is they end up with you know not super rich whatever you, if you've got an enormous just endless financial resources then you can go buy a yacht and cruise the caribbean i guess or something <laughs> although i did that I didn't buy a yacht but i i spent a lot of time in the caribbean and i don't think the caribbean is what the caribbean used to be um and it's really expensive. I mean, you really, you got to have a lot of money. you got to have a lot of... And I, prices vary wildly, island per island, and how you want to live and all that. But, man, it's generally speaking pretty expensive. Um, and I don't know that the tourism in most places ever really recovered after some of the bigger hurricanes. Andrew comes to mind, but there were many others. Hugo, etc. And, uh, you know, I, it, 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 Thailand is like uh, the Jamaica of uh southeast asia in my opinion uh it's got the food you know jamaica's got the barbecue based food the the jerk chicken and stuff i won't go through it but they've got like 17 different kinds of barbecued pork here uh ribs are popular uh barbecued roast chicken grilled chicken all different kinds of fried chicken uh you know it, the food is just very western friendly i'm a picky eater and 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 i'm not a big eater so when i'm eating i'd like something that i would enjoy please and and thailand i would have never dared imagine or dream that the food could be this nice anywhere in asia i, I thailand is uh i've had several more experienced uh western or uh, world travelers talk about how uh, thailand is like uh, asia light because it's more westernized most of their food is eaten with a fork so it, it's it's real it's just and the Thais themselves are so friendly. There's this, I've talked about this before, but there's like this relatively thick veneer. If, unless you really immerse in the culture, you'll never, most, mo, I don't know, I can't say most, but I, for certainly many uh, foreign residents here, and certainly your visitors, the overwhelming majority of anybody just visiting here, all they're going to see is that veneer of friendliness and go, wow, the Thais are just super friendly. And then that's the end of all they understand about the Thai culture, which is fine. That's all you need to know if you're just visiting. Um, you know, if you dig in more, you'll find that there's a, the, the, the Dong Cho culture, and then there's this insane uh, jealousy, the eat cha, eat cha, which is uh, jealous of what somebody else has. But no, to encourage a guy, so, yeah, I mean, on one hand, this is hard, uh, setting up, but if you plan for it, you absolutely, I, mean, I did it, you know, I, I, I went through a series of, uh, well, what, the big surgery was unsuccessful for my spine, kind of an important one. Um, went through a divorce. The, the closer in timing your divorce to your retirement is, the more effed you are. So if you can spread those out more, be, I did mine, boom, boom. 
you like royally f over yourself if you uh, uh, do that. And I knew that, and I and I and I, I had logically deduced that on my own that this was going to be like the worst time to do it. But that would underlie how happy I was in my old situation. So, uh, and I did the arithmetic, the literal financial arithmetic, and calculated my costs, what my investments and pensions might be providing in the future, what my health care needs and available policies and whatnot would cost. And I carefully calculated the entire thing. Um, and and then I, I, I did what I had to do to be in my best interest. I tried acting in other people's best interests, and that's great, but I couldn't get other certain other people to then also act in my best interests. And then that, that sort of becomes what I like to call, or refer to as unfair. And not to say anything bad about any other person, everybody's got to do what they have to do. I don't think most people set out to really hurt other people. Some do, but most people just don't understand and just maybe don't know any better. And we all, get, we all pick up programming from our youth that we don't really understand we're picking up. That's why it's programming. And most people can't break out of that. Most people can't introspectively look back inward at themselves and go, wow, I learned those bad habits from this, 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 and this. Those are being very negative or counterproductive in my life. I should change those. Most people go to a psychologist. All they want to hear is their own highlight reel. And then that's great. Enjoy that without me. Um, you know, and that's anybody. That's a friend. That's somebody you meet. That That's, man, that's just not uncommon. So let me encourage a guy, if he's thinking that he, to make some changes. So, yeah, you can come here, and it's amazing to me how many guys I know here are living on, like, around 1,000 U.S. a month, you know, 900 to 1,200 U.S. a month. That's, like, um, super common. That's super common, and guys do that. Uh, the guys that screw themselves up on that are the guys trying to then have a really young and expensive model pretty girlfriend I, I i think i mean to me i guess i'll just say it it looks like a kind of a shallow kind of thing I, i'm thinking of one guy in particular he's not a friend of mine at all just somebody i know of i don't know you know him i just know of him and i would just say he's kind of a poster boy for being a dumbass sorry pardon me but uh um he's he's on that you know thousand us a month 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 ish that's hard to say month ish pension and 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 he's got this really really young pretty girlfriend and he he he's constantly struggling with how to afford her gee i wonder what she's doing to earn extra money when he doesn't have enough for her i i couldn't imagine that uh, he's being really that that that's highly counterproductive in my i don't know him or this lady but i know that situation and often hear what happens if a guy He's got somebody very young and very pretty, and he doesn't have like a pile of money he can just throw at her. Uh, then she'll be picking up income elsewhere. And a lot of those ladies, they are going to pick up income elsewhere anyway. So it's just that's just what they've learned. Um, quick on that, uh, what I've been told by many guys, and what I've seen personally, more than a handful of times, maybe almost ten times, ten individuals that I know. And again, I, 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 I'm thinking of about a handful of experienced expats, which I don't often go off of a lot of uh, things. That just because some guy's been here a long time, that doesn't impress me a whole lot because I'd, I need to know that guy, know where he's been and what he's been doing, what he's been studying and learning and what he really understands. If a guy's just been hanging out at the expat bar every day for 10 years, then what is he? I, I don't know if he knows anything, so I don't really go off of that. But in this particular case, I'm taking word of some people like that because... Uh, according to those guys, and what I've seen, it's the same thing. Uh, once a woman gets into pay-for-play, bar girl activities, massage working, just initially gets into some type of sex work, once that's going on for about a month, it doesn't take very long, a month, maybe two at the most, um, that's kind of soul-crushing. Uh, look, looking at it from a sympathetic, empathetic perspective, it's kind of soul-crushing on that woman. And, and, and it's going to be just about impossible to rehabilitate that person back into some kind of normal, you know, I care about you, you care about me, let's take on the world together, let's team up, let's be good, and let's have some loyalty and respect and regard for each other. Like, that'll just go away, and it's a very short amount of time. And there's all kinds of reasons why, but 
but it just, it's done. And so the guys that, that like me, that have the White Knight Complex, you really want to check that stuff when um, uh, you're thinking of a, uh, a finding a, a, a spouse or a wife or a life partner for yourself. Um, it, they're unsavable. You, you, you really need to, you know, the first rule of life saving, believe it or not, I've told the story probably twice before. The first rule of life saving, I was in a class and they go, you got to save yourself. And then I raised my hand. I'm like, hey, what the heck, man? You know, and they explained it to me. But you know, if you're not okay, who are you going to be saving? You know, and that, that's what it comes down to. And this is a case where you're going to have to save yourself ahead of that person. Probably very, very unfair life choices they were offered. They made that decision. And once, that got, once they've gone down that road about a month or two, man, it's over. You cannot get them back. So just FYI. Uh, uh, and again, uh, it appears that the overwhelming majority of guys here do marry sex workers, which I do not recommend. Um, it's so common. I mentioned this in my book. I'll say it here. Uh, when Fawn and I are together and she's meeting some of her friends, you know, she's, she's a very private person. The, uh, the ladies that brag and show off their foreign guy all the time, that's a, that's a bit of a red flag. I mean, to a point, they'll all want to do that to a point. But it, if it keeps going on and it's egregious, it's, 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 it's a high volume all the time for a long time, that, that becomes a red flag in and of itself. But uh, uh, Fawn's on the other end of that. She's very private, and so she has like good friends from the university. And that when uh, Fawn and I bump into or travel, and maybe we'll uh, along the way, or or uh, we'll meet whatever at some part of a trip, uh, some old university friends of hers, or old co former coworkers, and such like that. Um, with all that. Um, you know, they'll, 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 they'll ask her in time. They'll try to say it quickly, uh, hoping that I won't understand, but they'll ask which bar that they, uh, Fawn got me at. They'll, they'll be surprised because they'll, they'll say that they didn't know Fawn was working in a bar anywhere or that she was a bar girl. And, and, and they'll ask which one it was that she got lucky at and found me because then maybe they should go get a job there. Some of that is the crab in a bucket. It's a little bit of a left-handed left -handed inquiry. Uh, and I mean no disrespect to people who are left-handed versus right-handed. My daughter's left-handed. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It's just a saying, okay? It is, but it is meant to be a little bit of a, an insult, okay? Because there is that women, the Italian women tend to keep the Italian women down and in line. That's just the way it works here. I've never heard a man say stuff like that to put a woman down. I only have heard the women put women down. And then Fawn is going to say, no, actually, we met, and I was teaching him, teaching him Thai, and, you know, and then all that whole story. Uh, but it's that common that the assumption is that that's how we met. And, that, that, and, that, and I've heard that from every other couple that I know well here. Um, but again, that, that's, that's terrible. Idea. And you don't have to do that to come here. Uh, in fact, I suggest you don't do that. Uh, what my channel is mostly about is I did all these, made all these mistakes because I didn't know and all, I got all the wrong information on the internet. And, and now I'm, I try to share, looking back with 2020 hindsight, which is really clear, right? Uh, uh, what, what can I do? What could I have done better? And then what could you maybe consider to do as your options moving forward? And, you know, so if you're in your home country still and things are not so hot, you know, you could... I'll tell you, looks here are everything. How a situation looks and how you look, I say this all the time, super, super important. Anyone that says otherwise does not understand Thai culture. Um, you know, can you buy, sure, you can flash money at people and you can make your, your relationship all about money if you want. Would you like that? Did it work out last time? Did you like it then? You might not, yeah, so I might be a little edgy this morning, so apologize. But no, seriously, I mean, you gotta look at it this way. If, you're, if a guy's dating, an average guy here is around maybe 65, 67, and, he, and the average guy's dating a woman about 45, so on average about maybe 22 years younger, which is what Fawn and I are, actually. And, okay, great. Now, you know, you take, a, you, you take that even a little further, take it like a 35-year-old, a woman 30 years younger. She, does she go to bed at night? Did she go to bed at night before she met you uh, or met her husband to dreaming about some old fat guy with white hair and sticking out like Einstein and stuff and, you know, didn't shave and wore sloppy clothes and, and didn't bathe regularly? Was that her dream, man? Really? Who, everybody raise your hand. Come on. You know. And so if you're in your home country, you can play into it. You can, you can be smart. This creates a great opportunity. Your competition sucks, my friend. Good news for you. Uh, if you clean yourself up a little bit, haircut short, shave every day, uh, you know, buy own, ties like clothes that are nice and new and neat. The grunge thing is not really a thing here. The jeans are ripped, but they're machine ripped. I mean, they're suspiciously uniformly ripped. 
I got a pair of jeans of a little tiny tear every so many centimeters, and that's a thing here. I, whatever, Fawn picked them out, and everybody compliments me on it. Whatever, okay? I, I could care. I, I enjoy the challenge of the language. It helps me uh, focus on things other than, you know, back pain or, or thinking about going and having a, too many beers somewhere, which I you know, would rather not do. So uh, I like the challenge of learning Thai language. It's a relatively interesting language, in my opinion. Um, but if you don't want to, that's great. But learn a little tiny, teeny bit. You know, it uh, goes a long way. You don't have to speak, but if you, but if you just sit with deep and greet people properly, Yindi Tidai Rujak, when you meet some, after you've met somebody, that's good to know you. You know, things like that. There's just little things you can do that just, just people, the ties will go, oh, oh, D, D, you know, and Jai D, oh, and they'll compliment you. They'll compliment your woman, make her look good. If you're going to put yourself on the market, right, this is a great time to clean yourself up a little bit. Lose a little bit of weight if you can, you know, get on a different diet, you know, hey, try some Asian food. But if you, if you clean yourself up a little bit, man, that just goes a long way, you know, and then, uh, um, you can, you can, you can, everything else on my channel, you know, I mean, you know, you, I talk about, you know, don't date online. It, it, it really is. Those, those applications are mostly, bene they, they benefit the Thai women. They don't, they don't benefit. The applications do not really, you can think, oh, wow, I got all these ladies lined up. Well, I'm winning. I'm winning. I mean, you're, no, they're, you're not. Trust me. If you come here and, and just have a little self-confidence and start hanging out, I say this all the time, you'll, 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 you'll see your own social value. And I get... On average, I get a flirt every day, on average. Some days I get three or four ladies, you know, give me the bing ping, uh, you know, flirt. You'll give me, I'll, I'll, I'll put that on the screen. Uh, you know, some days I get three or four bing pings, and, 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 and there might be, there's a day here, there, I, I get none, you know. But if you're dating and you're, and you're single and you're looking to find somebody, your odds are much better away from the big cities. Your dating pay grade is much lower, and your overall social marketability is much lower in Bangkok or in Konkan or um, in, in Pattaya, absolutely. Pattaya and Bangkok will be your lowest, uh, maybe Hua Hin as well, I'm not sure about that. But the, the biggest, most popular, wealthiest foreign resident areas, expat, however you want to say it, uh, that will be your lowest pay grade. The more remote uh, an area, uh, the more you'll find women who are less modern in their thinking, are more traditional Thai, and a traditional Thai Buddhist woman really will take care of her guy. Let me tell you. That, that's what I, that's my channel is mostly about, and that's what I came here for, and that's what I found, and I'm happy with that. I like that. Uh, if, if, but, you know, uh, some, some guys want maybe a more modern relationship. Uh, I don't know why you would, but if you do, then, then the bigger cities are better for you. Um, I've had a number of guys in the past. I had a run there for a while where a bunch of guys were dating in Bangkok and having really good luck. But there were also much younger guys. That, that's probably a whole different kettle of fish. Yep. Oh, oh, suai mak mak. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I gotta go, but uh, probably shot. I'll, 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 I'll jump back in and, and editing and, 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 and round out my points here, but the idea is to make this sort of a general helpful note to reach out to guys that are maybe struggling in their home country and uh, let me show you another option, I guess. Maybe I'll call it something like that. But I'll probably have to jump in here a little bit in editing and, and, and clear up and maybe add some points that are important I've left out. All right. So here's Fawn on a typical day. Notice her attire, nothing really sexy. She's very, very young and pretty, more than plenty for a man my age, right? Anyway, so then we go on a little car adventure. I like this little village to see if we pass any more interesting homes. There were a couple that I really liked. Oh, new construction there, rich folk. A nice, humble little house. I'm telling you. I could live in any, any of these places as long as it was clean, property kept up. And I was with somebody that actually really cared about me. You know, I'd be the only guy living in a place like this with a $15,000 motorcycle maybe down the road. But uh, none of this is anywhere I personally would not live. That might sound weird, I guess. But uh, let me think. I don't care. I just don't care. Maybe everybody should have 24-hour pain for like two years and then change your priorities, let me tell you. Well, I Oh, Suai, Suai. I hear you, I hear you. I hear you. Tell us up, Suai, Mai. Yeah. Mm. 
it is pretty nice. This guy is like the luckiest, <laughs> the luckiest person in Nansung that I know of. He bought this land for nothing, and then within six months, they put a road in this way for some planned project. He swears he didn't know a thing about it. Um, I'm just going to take him at his word and say he's very lucky. Hang on. Just get a shot of us pulling up and shut it down. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't feel like doing a restaurant video today. Not that I do many anymore. I know. This is the slow down look around. And the actual name in Thai is, he always thinks he's those damn stylized characters. That's Ro. Rai. Rai? Yeah. How is it? Oh, Sal so I. Yeah. Oh, oh, it doesn't have a thing on the bottom. Oh, geez. Yeah, it's an I. I don't know. Here's just uh, three photos in a short slideshow. Uh, it, this is a really nice place. It's actually in Nansung. Uh, very remote, very private, very quiet. Uh, they have absolutely fantastic, authentic Italian food. The guy was a chef in Pattaya, which is known for its high food quality. Very expensive, but very good quality. It's really a lovely afternoon yet again. My name is Rob, and thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. I meant every word I just said with respect.